Not really into hesitation Pulls me in enough to keep me guessing I don't even know why they hired me. You know, I don't I, I don't even play an instrument. You don't? I don't. Do and, you sing? Um, not very well. Oh. Hey, hey everyone, what's up? Hey Butterfingers. That's not very nice. <laughs> Butterfingers. Seriously? <sighs> nice move, rookie. No wonder they call you Butterfingers. I'll see you after school. Good luck, Butterfingers. I brought everything. You sure you want to do this? You spilled my coffee. You're darn right I want to do this. You're going to pay big time. All right, if you say so. Well, you caught the football, so maybe you're not Butterfingers after all. Go, go, Power Rangers! Go, go, Power Rangers! Good morning, Phoenix High School. It's National Teacher Appreciation Week. And this week, here at Phoenix High School, they said they wanted somebody young and somebody good looking to do the news, so. Obviously, I'm not the young one, so that must make me the good-looking one. I'm Mr. Shipley. And I'm Ms. McAndrews. Get ready to enjoy the show and how the te teachers tackle the news of Phoenix High School. I'm just glad I'm doing it with you this week because last year we did this with Mr. Roderick and he hogged all the good lines and all the camera time. He was really pretty bad. I can see it. him doing that. Yeah. So our first announcement today comes from Mrs. Pond in the Diploma Center. Mrs. Pond is set up for students who are interested in earning a food handler's permit. The cost is $10 and you pay the front office and you bring your receipt to Mrs. Pond in room N105. Use the computer to do the online training for your Oregon Food Handlers card. This card can help you gain employment in the food service industry. So talk to Mrs. Pond in once again room N105 if you've got any questions. Speaking of Mrs. Pond, she will be opening up credit retrieval on Saturdays for students needing to get caught up before the end of the year. Mrs. Pond will be opening up credit retrieval from 9 a.m. until noon on these Saturdays, April 29th, May 6th, and May 13th. Please sign up with Mrs. Pond if you are interested. I feel like I should be fishing with all this talk about Pond. Uh, let's share one last announcement for Mrs. Pond and then move on. I mean, really, how much can one teacher have to say? We should have brought Mrs. Pond in here she today. She should have been here, yeah. Mrs. Pond will be selling water bottles for 75 cents to raise money for our Sparrow Fabby. Uh, Mrs. Pond is located in the Diploma Center room N105. Come during break or after school, during passing periods, and occasionally during lunch. Just plan accordingly so you're not tardy to class. Next Monday, during advisory, students can participate in the pop-up Makerspace event being held in the library. To give you some more information about this event, PHTV's own Katie Baker and Randy Mick made a segment for you. Let's check it out. Are you interested in using technology and engineering to rule the universe? And speak to your advisory teacher about coming to PHS Library on May 8th for a pop-up makerspace during advisory period. You'll have a chance to try out different technology and engineering tools like Makey Makey Invention Kits, Little Bits Electronic Building Blocks, Game Coding, and Green Screen. Let us know what else you're interested in. See you then. Man, that looks like fun. I wonder if I can sign up and get out of advisory. I wouldn't do that to you guys. I love my time with my advisees. I'm at least going to try. Uh, before next Monday to attend the pop-up makerspace. Also, any Art One students from first semester that would like to participate in the PHS annual art show at the end of May needs to see Rollins for entry information. I think you're supposed to see Mrs. Seely too to sign up for that if you want to do that. Oh yeah, I, you get to be my age sometimes. You remember, you're the young one. I'm just here for. That's looks. what I'm here for. Yeah. Okay. Speaking of fun, be ready for Carnival Thursdays, the Relay for Life team will be having games selling candy or other yummy snacks as a fundraiser for our school team. 
You can still join the PHS Relay for Life team. We are meeting Tuesdays at lunch in Mrs. Mrs. Green's room, so come join the fun. Are you in need of medical assistance but are afraid it will cost too much? On Thursdays, La Clinica Medical Bus will be on campus to help any students who need it for free. See Mr. Akeel in the attendance office to schedule an appointment with La Clinica for this Thursday or any Thursday that you might need medical assistance. Last weekend was the final district competition for the equestrian team season. The girls' medals reflect their total points for the 2017 season. Freshman Riley Hayes won a bronze medal and qualified for state in both saddle seat and jumping. She also qualified as an alternate in dressage for state. Freshman Ashley Day had the honor of carrying the American flag for grand entry. Freshman Riley Hayes and Ashley Day won the bronze and qualified for state in working pairs. That's a lot easier to say than dressage. That's true. Riley Hayes, Ashley Day, and Christina Cannon combined with Ashland to take bronze and qualified for state and drill. Great job, Phoenix Equestrian. Nice job. In case you missed it last week, the spring musical In the Heights will have three more shows this week. Be sure to go out to the Rose Street Theater on Thursday, Friday, or Saturday at 7 p.m. to catch the last three performances of In the Heights. You don't want to miss it. Attention, former eCare students who have expiring first aid and CPR cards. Those of you who took emergency care two years ago, you now have an expired card or are getting very close. If you're interested in staying current in your certification, Mrs. Campbell will be having a renewal course just for you after school on Wednesday, May 17th. Please see Mrs. Campbell for more details and to get signed up. On Friday, May 12th at 4 p.m. after school, Phoenix High School's Farm to School program will be throwing their annual garden party. Come by and check out the school garden and greenhouse. Learn about all the work the class has been doing this whole year. They will also be selling vegetables and herbs that the class grew themselves. Be sure to check out the garden party Friday, May 12th after school. If you are interested in joining the garden club, they will be, meet they will be meeting on Thursdays after school. See Mr. Janicek or Mrs. Green for more details. All right, everybody, listen up. This next announcement applies to all of our students. Seriously, Colin Shreve, this one's for you. We've got your eyes on you. We're checking you out, so make sure you're paying attention. Uh, PHS has instituted a new attendance policy for all tardy students. All students who are tardy, either excused or unexcused, will now be checking in with Mr. Akeel at the attendance window. Mr. Akeel will be assigning students either a green pass for an excused tardy or a pink pass for an unexcused tardy. Teachers, you will still need to mark pink slipped students tardy to confirm they made it back to class. T uh, teachers, if a student shows up tardy without a green or a pink pass, please send them back to Mr. Akeel. All students will now be checking in with Mr. Akeel if tardy. Even if you have a pass from a teacher, show that pass to Mr. Akeel and he will excuse you. You know, it would really be nice if the students would just show up to class on time. That, that would help a lot. Make it easier. But, yeah, who knows? Maybe they might even get a job someday. That would be nice. Tax paying members yeah. of society help us all out. Yeah. You're not going to be able to be tardy for your jobs, guys. If you're late, you won't have that job for long. So let's see. Where are we here? I lost my track. Uh, all right. Have you ever wondered what us teachers do when the students leave every day at 3.30? Well, PHTV's own Germina Rodriguez and Astrid Onesto went on a mission to discover what our teachers are doing when the students aren't around. Let's see what they found. You've got to want it. You've got to want it more than the air you breathe. You've got to want it more than the water you drink. Do you want it? How bad do you want it? Show me you want it. Show me you want it. Go. Make it happen.
you need some help doing math with your bare hands? <laughs> 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 Apparently, people absent today. And I was not super well, so, apparently, anything we weird going on in here? What? There's a hairy thing. What's going on? Oh my Done. gosh. Very good. Cheryl <laughs> Crew! Oh, Cheryl. Come on, close it in. Come on, Mr. Rob Ross. <laughs> Mr. Doherty, sit down. I've heard you've been disrupting your classes. <laughs> right, Dance Dance Revolution's fun, but I gotta get in on that nap time. That looks pretty awesome. Hey, did you check out Carvalho in his pantsuit? He looked like something out of a bad 80s music video. <laughs> yeah, I bet he raced around that go-kart track pretty quick, though. All right, let's get back to school news now. The Alexandra Hanscom Memorial Scholarship is now available in the Future Planning Center. Any graduating three-sport female senior of Phoenix High School who has participated in three OSAA sports, one of those years they may have only been in two sports, will be eligible for this scholarship. This scholarship is worth $1,500. The deadline for completion of this scholarship is May 19th, so that's coming up. Get on it, guys. If you have any questions about this scholarship, please see Lana Engel or Michelle House in the Future Planning Center. For all those students in my class who don't have an A, and I know there's not a lot of you, but Elbert, I'm talking to you right now, Phoenix High School now has a tutor available from Southern Oregon who can work with you on any of your assignments, tests, or SAT prep, math and science especially. He is here Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday after school in Ms. Pond's classroom, N105. The ASAP bus, ASAP bus is available to take you home. Drop by N105 and ask for Nary. Okay, we've got a message for seniors now, and we're not talking about Mr. Carvalho. Did you catch that, Mr. Carvalho? That was an old joke pointed at you in case you missed that. <laughs> Uh, seniors, the last day to make changes on the person that will be walking you at graduation will be on May 30th. Please see Myra Silva in the main office if you would like to change who is walking you. May 30th will also be the last day to pay any outstanding fees in order to walk. Please see Denise Meir if you have any questions. One last announcement for seniors, any senior that wants to perform you know, show off your talents if you've got some. Uh, at the Senior Assembly on June 2nd needs to report to the small gym on Wednesday, May 10th to audition. Once again, any senior that wants to perform, show off your abilities, at the Senior Assembly on June 2nd needs to report to the small gym on Wednesday, May 10th for auditions. In news from our FFA program, FFA Officer Scholarship and Proficiency applications will be due May 3rd. Interviews will be May 4th, that's this week, and you must sign up by Wednesday in two days. Also, the FFA, also the FFA Officer Elections meeting will be on Tuesday, May 9th at 6 p.m. Come vote for next year's team. Lastly, the FFA Banquet will be on Monday, May 15th. All members must attend. Rehearsal will be at 4 p.m. with guests arriving at 6. All right, let's turn our attention to spring sports. We're going to start today with boys golf. Last Wednesday, the boys golf team competed at Centennial Golf Course in a nine-team tournament. Out of the nine teams, our boys placed 12th. Oh, wait, here, it's, they got third. Good job, guys. Um, great job, Phoenix Boys Golf. The team was led by Camden Chose, who finished seventh overall. In girls golf news, last week the girls hosted a tournament at Stone Ridge. Maricela Alvarado Powers came in second place. Nice job, with her best score yet in her career. Ashen was the only team out of six with a complete team. This week we have a qualifier for regionals, which will be May 8th and 9th in Bandon. Good luck, girls golf. In track action, our Pirates track and field team competed at home this past Wednesday and at the 68th annual Rotary Meet in Grants Pass on Saturday. At Saturday's meet, the boys finished uh, 23rd and the girls finished 18th. Good luck this week at competition, Pirate track and field. In softball action, our Pirate softball team fell in all three games to Henley, darn Hornets. This week, the girls will have some home games on Tuesday and Friday at Culver Field. Be sure to go support our Pirate softball team. And in baseball action, our Pirates baseball team beat Henley. Always a good day when Henley gets beat. This week, our Pirates baseball team will be hosting Hidden Valley on Tuesday and Friday at Culver Field. Be sure to come out and support our Pirates baseball team. 
Okay, this is all the news we have for today. Now to end the show with trivia. Last week's trivia question was, when will Mrs. Campbell be offering a renewal test for any students with an expired first aid or CPR card? And the winner is... Cheyenne Benshotter. Congrats, you said Wednesday, May 17th. See Mr. Rhodes to pick up your Dutch Bros gift card. This week's trivia question is, when is the audition date for seniors who want to perform at the Senior Assembly? Please write your answer on a piece of paper along with your name and advisor's name and place it in the envelope on Mr. Rhodes' door. So be sure to check out our online platform, phtvnews.com, and as always, stick around for the pledge. This has been your school, your people, and your news.